How's it going, my Gs? King G here, reporting live from Venus. I actually landed uh, just a moment ago. Um, checked into my Airbnb here. Uh, the weather is pretty nasty outside. Uh, pretty inhabitable. In uninhabitable. That's the one. Uh, yeah, but uh, luckily the Wi-Fi is actually okay. The problem is the download speed is really, really great, but the uploading speed is really slow here. So I think it's the interplanetary interference. But basically, I've decided to just, um, you know, keep you guys updated and give you a short little video today uh, from the from the Airbnb in v on Venus, um, which is actually a three star uh, super host. Um, it's got it's got like a bunk bed and um, it's a zebra patterned like ta kitchen table. Um, there's a microwave, but there's no fridge, so it's an interesting place. But there's an unlimited supply of um, microwave burgers, so I won't go hungry. It's just the water's green here, so I'm not sure if it's safe. But basically, I've I've been missing home a bit already since I landed, and um, so I I I really miss the sound of a realistic humanized hi hat. Uh, especially that's the one kind of sound that I, that I long for on this sort of distant planet so what I've done is you know to sort of soothe myself is I've created a, a hi-hat in vital and I've just tried ever so hard to make it sound like a real one and I've got a little bit closer I would say on our exploration journey together you and I as the listener and the viewer um, through our uh, mutual love for music we are actually sort of creating uh you know history here and i'm going to actually go and read out some of the comments from from you guys because i really appreciate your support so um have fun at venus uh you throwing an impreza i don't know why it was a sad time in your life i mean that it's, that doesn't make sense because the impreza is a fantastic uh, piece of kit in my opinion i've never driven it to be honest but uh, it looks just looks cool um yeah, I don't know what that means, don't panic. Greetings from J2157, watching Killanova. I believe that's uh, some reference to a sci-fi, probably a really popular one that I'm just not aware of. Probably Star Trek or something. Uh, I'm going to have to sample that outburst. You better not. I literally told you not to do that. So if you do that, Gleb, you know, we're, we're going to have words, mate. Manuel, good morning from Bayer. Yeah, I'd love to go to California. That would be amazing. And anyway, let's crack back on with the realistic hi-hat. <laughs> So what do you guys think about it? I've tried to, and do you know what? It needs to be a little bit tighter here. Pretty realistic, right? So let's get into how I made it. And there's two key things that I did with this hi-hat sound design that I've improved upon from my last hi-hat sound designs. If we play it just with the drums. You can see I've got this little open knob here and this is sort of uh, automated here to come up so you've got this little offbeat open hi-hat that comes in. So that's obviously making it more realistic but um, the main thing I wanted to focus on was the realism of the actual hi-hat and so before I'd use white noise and I thought let's try a different sample so I used the river which is a bit softer and a bit more nice, a bit nicer, a bit more natural. So for those who don't know, you know, it's really easy to make a hi-hat. You basically just get white noise or the river one, which I think is better. Uh, add a high pass filter to your sample section. And all you're gonna do is modulate the level uh, of the sample noise on LFO one here. And I've got it at one eighth. So I could, you know, I could go, go for a different speed. Pretty nice as well, but for this groove, I want eighths. And yeah, I've done a little bit of randomization on the the level very slightly, and also the uh, filter drive here. Just trying to get in a bit of artifacts. That's my name randomly into the sound. Um, and but yeah, li most importantly, what what's made this hi hat a bit more realistic is firstly it's the sample uh, choice, and secondly, 
it's the chorus. So if I turn that off, put it back on. So we're going to dive right into that. Let's listen in it to it in isolation. And what I've done is I've really gone in uh, on the exact levels of the delays, one and two on the chorus, and the depth. So what I would suggest you do is try and recreate your own hi-hat and see if you can come close and see if you can get a realistic one yourself. Because if you get a bit more advanced with your sound design through that, you'll you'll notice how these small differences make such a some of these small changes make such a big difference and you can really begin to craft your own like realistic sounds using synthesis as well so that's that's what i'm trying to explore here at the moment today on venus in my airbnb also join my patreon and um basically i'm going to use the money uh, to to extend my stay here at the three star venus uh, planet airbnb so really appreciate that <laughs> Yeah, anyway, 7.5%. I've done it exactly that. So I've entered the value 7.5. And, you know, without the chorus, this is what the kind of hi-hats I made before sounded like. And by just doing this really tight bit of depth control on the chorus, I've been able to control the tone of the hat a little bit better. So maybe it's a little bit long here. But, you know, keeping it nice and tight and short, um, you can use the chorus then to control the actual character and make it more realistic. So once the depth is at 7.5, now it's a case of uh, just adjusting the, both the delays because I've put it onto freeze mode. So the, the chorus is not actually moving. It's just adding these extra voices really close together to the original sound. And then by getting the exact uh, delay right on, on these two... Um, settings here we can change the character of it and try and make it sound more realistic so i've got it at 1.68 before i forget on delay one but let's see what happens when i move it around you know up here it becomes a bit more tense and almost a bit more unrealistic in my opinion see there's quite nice 8.3 But here's pretty good, around 1.6. And the delay 2 as well, I've got it at 8.06. See here it's like I can hear this sort of resonant sort of peaking spike which sounds unnatural. It's too like too much. So we're going to have to move it again to find a, a nicer sweet spot. Yeah, so it was around there, but I'm going to go back and compare to my original. Uh, and then, you know, I actually think a little bit shorter here, like I said before, and a little bit less mix. Just controlling the tightness of the hat here. And then what I've done is I've added like literally a tiny bit of reverb. And then uh, what I've done to the open control to open the hat is I've added another LFO. Um, which is LFO3 and this um, basically I track this to the level of the of the sample so uh, where it sort of cuts down on the first LFO this one's going to keep the level up a bit longer and I've just mixed this volume shape in uh, by using the smooth mode so having it up at 100 means the LFO's off um, mix mixing it back down onto my macro causes the LFO to activate and increases the volume for this extra like length of section so we can open the hat for a bit longer so if i turn off the automation so you can hear it all the way up yeah it's, it's giving this longer sort of tail to the hat and yeah if i put that back down put my automation back on I can use it just in these little short moments to add a bit of realism to the hat as well but i was mostly excited about getting a little bit closer to a real hat using the chorus here. And I could probably randomize a couple more extra little things to make it even more realistic sounding. But I think this is probably the nicest and real hat I've made so far in Vital. So thanks for being part of my journey. 
and yeah i hope that's uh inspiring you to get a little bit more creative with your sound design and synthesis i've always used uh synthetic hats like just white noise and layered them with real ones but if i can really you know get it nice and sounding great in here then i won't need to do that anymore that'll save save me time so that's good <laughs> But yeah, obviously we'd need a lot more layers for our drum beat. It's a little bit minimal still here, but it's just a demonstration for a little realistic hat. So I feel a bit closer to home. Anyway, it's really nice to have you guys uh, over here on the internet because yeah, like literally being on another planet, but still being able to talk to you all is really, really important to me and my health and my mental health and well-being. So thanks for that. And um, just please, whatever you do, just don't do anything I wouldn't for goodness sake. <laughs>